uh, here is the beginning of a uh, bike path that leads right up to uh, Hangang, the Han River. Uh, you can see the expressway just to the left of it. It's sort of two levels of expressway, actually. And then uh, lower down, just on the left-hand lower side, is a little stream, which uh, was quite congested. It used to smell a great deal of mildew and algae during the summer. The city has made an effort to clean that up, clarify the water, and it's been uh, semi-successful. Uh, but uh, there still is a problem with stagnant water and uh, lingering pollution and so forth. Uh, during the Kunbi a few years ago, this entire area was completely flooded. It was impossible to walk along here. Uh, so that uh, rise in water was maybe, I don't know, around three meters almost or something like that. Most of Seoul is uh, the city uh, next to the banks of uh, the Han are quite elevated. So floodwaters uh, don't get that far. And they're sort of like an, this is almost like an estuary area. They kind of absorb the, the flood water. But uh, uh, if you were to build a house right beside, uh, right beside the river, you might be in trouble because flooding can be a problem during the summers when Jiangma comes. Jiangma has not come uh, this year. Jiangma is the uh, uh, Korean monsoon. It hasn't come yet. It's June the 22nd and June the 23rd as I talk. But, uh, Probably those big rains will come fairly, uh, fairly soon. In fact, Koreans are kind of worried right now that the rains this year will be uh, too heavy uh, because the sort of building up is just too dry right now. It's a little bit eerie. And uh, there it is just off in the distance behind that uh, big uh, pair of concrete bridges. Uh, the Hangang, uh, the Han River, a bunch of, uh, a small group of uh, of uh, people just uh, heading down to have an evening stroll. Uh, so we're by the, uh, the big river itself. And uh, this is a little bit further along on the, uh, the bike trail and uh, uh, here we are uh, right next to the hand. This is, a, this is another parkette. These are actually very unusual uh, to have sort of uh, wild grass and so forth and have something that isn't uh, quite sort of uh, strictly gardened uh, along this walking trail. But here it is. It's quite pretty. And uh, uh, there just behind me is the uh, Ben Podegyo, the big uh, blue bridge with the uh, light show in the evening that those uh, those two tourists I was talking to earlier uh, were interested in. And uh, across uh, on the other side is uh, Gangbok. Uh, we're on the Gangnam style side, Gangnam style. Um, and uh, this is the, the side that I'm on right now is the, uh, the side which was uh, basically farmland and wilderness until around 50 years ago. Sugi will correct me and say, oh no, even 40 years ago. So there's been a huge amount of development just on this side of the river. The other side of the river is the, uh, the old historical city of Seoul, uh, which was founded, I think, as a capital something like 600 years ago. Uh, uh, but I, I, I think uh, long before that, Seoul was already uh, a fairly important city, a trade city and so forth. And, um, uh, that, is, uh, that is the side where all the history is, on, on the far side of the river.